Hi guys, Rachel here and welcome back to another video. So I decided to join in with all this Christmas in July, even though I don't get it. <laughs> Christmas is one time a year, we don't need it twice, although I do like Christmas. But anyway, it inspired me to go into my Christmas stuff, dig out my 2016 December Daily that was unfinished and finish it. So yay for me, I've finished it. I do, however, need to decorate the cover and I want to make some kind of elastic to keep it shut because this is just a bit of elastic tied into a knot. I want to make something a little bit more fancier than that. So I just thought I would do a flip through just to join in with uh, Christmas in July. So I already have, I'll insert the playlist from a December daily here. Um, so I've already went through some of the pages. Um, I actually made this, I've got my intention, should I just go through it all? Yes. So this, this first one, it's very full as you can see. So not all of it fits in and the front cover has gone all square width when it's shut. It doesn't, you see what I mean? It's really annoying and I don't enjoy that. <laughs> but that's the way it is. And unless I take some of it out, you know, I'll not be able to fix it. So I'm just going to have to deal with it. So that's the first page and it is just made with some fake snow and some like snowflake sequences and this is just a wood veneer, a glittered wood veneer saying let it snow and it's got a little day there. I'll not be able to remember where the supplies are from um, because it was so long ago but I have got everything in the playlist if you want to go and have a look. So I've got my intentions page here and it says Welcome to my first ever December Daily. I am so excited to create this album. I love Christmas and I love to document my family's memories. My hope is that in years to come my children and grandchildren and theirs after that will be able to look back and have a peek into our life at this moment and remember the joy of Christmas. I will be documenting the big moments and the small moments from this month because every moment counts. We also have a couple of little visitors this year for the first time, which I'm excited to record. To see who our visitors are, you will have to keep flipping the pages. I love pictures, but I also love the stories in them. My intention for this album is to make sure I tell the stories behind the pictures, because I do struggle with that even in Project Life. I just put the pictures down and I don't really journal about what's in it. So I've just got some few embellishments and enamel dots and stuff like that. And that's the other side of that page. And I've got a, um, just a calendar bit in here where I've documented some things that I knew I was doing ahead of time. And then just that's the back of that page and it says, here you go. It's the best time of year. This paper is from the paper cakes, from paper cakes I think, <laughs> what's it called again, um, oh mind blank I'll insert it here on the, on the screen somewhere, so this is day one, I can't believe it's the 1st of December already, this whole year has gone by so fast, November felt like it didn't even happen and Halloween was yesterday. I wasn't prepared for it today so much so that I forgot to get the advent calendars out for the kids. Hashtag bad mother, laugh out loud. Oh well, they can have two chocolates tomorrow, hee <laughs> hee. So this is still day one today i spent the day filming a video for youtube preparing my son's bedroom ready to be painted tomorrow and organizing my christmas craft supplies to kick christmas off the kids and i watch santa claus 2 before bedtime and then this is uh number two i did document um i did pre-cut the numbers ahead of time with just some red glitter paper and some die cuts so there's just a picture of our advent calendars and I've wrote 
Today the kids got to have two chocolates out their advent calendars, as we missed yesterday, which made up for naughty mammy for forgetting what day it was. Hee <laughs> hee. I hope Santa can forgive me. This year I also joined in with the advent fun and got myself a me to you advent calendar. I know I used to buy myself an advent calendar when Caitlin was little, she's 12 now, but I can't remember when I stopped. I've had a few tough years and I must have stopped without even realising. The kids laughed at me when I got my calendar out today and I was confused to why they found it so funny. I said I always get a calendar for them to tell me that I haven't. The fact that this year I've remembered is a big sign that things are looking up, which is just one more thing I can write on my gratitude list for this year. Yes, because I did go through a tough time at, at a time and that was me just documenting, you know, that has passed. So this is still day two. Tonight we all watch Fred Claus as a family before bed. And that's just a filler page. And today Lee started, this is day three. Today Lee started painting Caden's room while I sorted out Caitlin's. My plan was to get the whole house freshly painted for Christmas. But my plan is not working out as well as I thought. So I've just got some pictures of Lee decorating the walls, painting and stuff. And this is still day three, I think. Yes, so here's just a picture of my son in a jelly bath. Caden had a purple jelly bath. It was Caitlin's from last Christmas, but she never used it and said he could have it. He had the best time. And then all bundled up. Tonight Lee and I kinda had date night. If watching a movie together while Caden watched his tablet right next to us counts as movie night. I meant to write date night, laugh out loud. We watched Bad Santa for the first time and I loved it. And then there's just a big picture of the bath time by a big layout of bath time. And then I just have a layout documenting the um, curtains I put up for Caitlin in Caitlin's bedroom with the fairy lights over next to our desk where she does our schoolwork. And here I've just got a 4 by 6 little layout of my daughter Caitlin, a Snapchat filter. And day 5. Today I had a meeting at my son's school just to, to review how he is coping. I am so happy with Caden's progress this past year considering that just last September meltdowns at school were a daily occurrence. He has come so far and I am so grateful for all the progress he has made and I will be forever thankful for all the help the school has given me. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this on my channel before but my both my children have have got ADHD and um, learning difficulties and they struggle a lot at school so Caden my son like just last year getting him to school was so <sighs> you know it took us hours just to walk a five minute journey to get him to school he used to run away and hide under cars and climb up trees and by the time I got home I was that was me ready for the day to go to bed and he struggled a lot at school he he did he couldn't cope with the structure of it but the school's helped him lots and he has come so far and I'm so proud of him um, and that was me just documenting that so this is still the same day today I made some media themed loaded bags I love how they turned out and then when Lee got in from work, he started building Caden's new cabin bed. The bed was easier than I thought it would be, but it still took us half the night to get it finished. We almost finished. We still have the drawers and cupboard to assemble. So just before Christmas, I decided I wanted to decorate my daughter's room and my son's room and the whole house. I had it in my head, but that didn't get done. But I did manage on decorating my daughter's and my son's bedrooms and he got a new bed because he doesn't uh, sleep in his own bed he likes to sleep with me and he's getting big now and he takes up the whole bed so I thought getting him a cabin bed getting him his own 
bed, a brand new bed would make it exciting and you'd want to sleep in it. But it didn't last very long. <laughs> so, so this is still the same day, I think. Christmas came early for me today because I received my deadly desserts die, die cut, so I just documented that. And there's another picture of my daughter's work area with her curtains and fairy lights. And just some more pictures from what I did in her bedroom. And this is still this day four. It's a day, day five. God, I was busy on day five, wasn't I? Uh, today I also started painting my Christmas DIY decorations. I think they look amazing. I can't wait to put my tree up. So, and there's this. I just documented printing off the Feeling Grinchy um, collection because I was on the design team at this moment. Um, or was I? No, I wasn't. Yes, I was. I can't remember. Yes, I think I was. <laughs> Today I, I think I just joined. Today I was so tired from sleeping on the set A with Caden not actually having his own bed at the moment. We are all squeezing into the same bed. I was the last to bed because I stayed up to watch Walking Dead. And I couldn't get in when I went up and I didn't want to wake everyone. So the couch was where I ended up. I didn't get much done today apart from printing off some crafty supplies from Serena Bay's Feel and Grinchy collection. I can't wait to get crafty with these designs. I have some amazing ideas. So I just put all I want is sleep. So this was day six. The numbers aren't really standing out very much, are they? And then I think this is day seven. No, day six. Tonight I took the kids to see the new Disney movie Moana with Joni. I fully enjoyed the movie and I can't wait to get the DVD. Yes, I'm a big kid, so I just documented going to see that. And that was just a picture of the kids coming home from school. And in this envelope I have got the uh, tickets from the cinema and stuff like that. So this is day seven. Well, the day has been a busy one. I have been shopping for Christmas presents and furniture during the day. Then I had to rush back before going to Caden's nativity play at school. Caden was excellent. This time, he was a snoring sheep. He had to lie on the front of the stage and snore really loud while his class friends sang a song. He was snoring so loud that you could hear him over the singing voices and the music. He had the whole room laughing. He definitely was the star of the show. It was a big proud mother moment for me especially since last year he wasn't allowed to move away too far from the teacher he has come leaps and bounds I'm just documenting how far my son it came since the year before shining brightly PS we made a little more progress in the decorating department it's getting done slowly but surely so this is just a picture of my son um, being a snoring sheep in his nativity play. Uh, he was so funny. He was snoring so loud you could hear him over the music and over the children singing and he had the whole place in laughter. So that's that. Um, this is day eight. Well I had quite a chilled out day and not really done much at all. I finished a little bit more of Caden's bedrooms but it's kind of at a standstill until the rest of his furniture gets delivered. I did have a few things on my to-do list for today, but I couldn't find the motivation to do anything. <laughs> However, I did get a lot of Christmas online shopping done. I'm almost there. Then I will have lots of wrapping to do. So, today I printed off Serena's Snow Day. That's what that's from. Snow Day. I don't know why I couldn't remember. Collection. I'm planning on making a DIY advent calendar hunt game for the kids. I can't wait to see how it turns out. And then in here is got the kids' uh, Santa list. So it's got what, what the one of Santa for Christmas. And I just popped it in there to save that. And there's like a little, a little layout of my son and his Christmas jumper. And these is just loads of two by two um, pictures and that's just on the outside of that pocket 
I think I did plan on putting sequences in or something, but I didn't. I didn't end up doing that. So some just pictures of Caden and his Christmas jumper, and the top one's me with my Christmas jumper on. I, I quite like that page. And then this page is just all decorative. It's got no pictures in. So another layout just with journaling on. It says, this little video's gonna be long, isn't it? Already at 15 minutes. Day two with no motivation. I think I'm gonna hurry it up after this. I think I must have burnt myself out. I do think I'm super girl sometimes. I think I can do it all. My plans look so much better in my planner, laugh out loud. Normally I would give myself a hard time for not getting stuff done, but this time I want to change my mindset. So I'm writing this message to myself to remind myself that I am only human, even though I feel like a zombie right now, and I am allowed to take a break. I don't need to feel guilty for not taking everything off my to-do list. I don't need to feel guilty for taking <laughs> a time out to binge watch TV and eat junk food. So today I chilled out and took my merry little time. I did manage to get half a cupboard decluttered, so the day wasn't a total fail. <laughs> That's just me reminding myself that it's okay to take a break sometimes. And then here was documenting my first um, YouTube hop I did. So this is what I wrote. I also filmed a video today for YouTube and this video was part of a YouTube hop. My very first YouTube hop, I was so excited to be part of it. The hop lineup had some amazing talented ladies including I just feel honoured to be part of it. This time last year I was just watching videos and never thought for one second I would have the courage to join in. I am so glad I did. Now I'm on Serena's Paper Cakes design team, being included in a hop and enjoying every minute of it. Never let fear stop you from doing what you love. So yes, that's that. If you are sitting on the sidelines and just thinking about starting to make videos, don't sit any longer and just start making them and you'll not look back, I promise. So anyway, moving on, day 10, I went to the town with my daughter. Today I had a lovely day out with my gorgeous daughter. We went to the town to do some Christmas shopping and I loved every minute of it. It was so lovely to spend the day just me and her. We don't get to do it very often these days. She has grown up so fast, I really don't know where the time has gone. She has grown up to be a lovely young lady. She makes me burst with pride. She has the best little personality and can make me belly laugh with her curious questions. At the same time as me not knowing where the time has gone, I sometimes forget that she is still just little. As an oldest child, she has been given the big sister responsibilities, so it's been nice to spend some alone time with her, allowing her to have my undivided attention. And then I go on to document the day... So we ate at Burger King. We went to Burger King for dinner. I love Burger King. Caitlin prefers McDonald's, but the queue was so long, we wouldn't have any time to stop by the time we got to our food. But she was happy because she got to have an Oreo milkshake. So there's just a picture of me and her trying some funny glasses on in a shop. And there is a picture of my coffee with Caitlin in the background. Um, and there's another picture of my coffee. It was my first ever time at Starbucks. <laughs> I hear everybody in the US talking about Starbucks like, like it's like an amazing place. And I've got a Starbucks there, but we don't really use it. I think uh, Costa Coffee's normally, well, that's normally where I used to go. And there, uh, so... Instead of going to Costa Coffee, I decided to go to Starbucks because everybody that Caitlin follows on like YouTube and Instagram or always talks about Starbucks. So she was kind of wanting to go there as well. So I got a gingerbread latte and Caitlin got a lovely hot chocolate. She did want coffee, but I said no. <laughs> so I've got a little shake out there, just some decorative pieces. This is on the outside. Some of the embellishments are on the outside of the page protector and some are in, on the inside. So it's just a picture of my little doggy Bailey Boo. And this is day 11 and I took a picture of my son sleeping in his own bed 
Hooray! Silent night, holy night. <laughs> it was. So Caden slept in his new bed last night and not just that, he slept in his own bed all night, all by himself for the first time in I don't know how long. I am super proud of it. And Mummy eventually got a good night's sleep for a change, so after having a good night's sleep and a really lazy day, I think I have recharged my batteries for the next few weeks of excitement. I've decided to leave the rest of the decorate until after Christmas. The main rooms are done. So that is all I'm bothered about now. Now, after Santa has been, the kids have a nice fresh bedroom to put all their gifts in. Tomorrow I plan on getting this whole house spick and span, ready for the tree going up. I also need to get prepared for our house guest coming. So that's me just picturing a picture of my son asleep in his bed. It didn't last. <laughs> it didn't last at all. He'll go to sleep in his bed, then he'll get out, get back in with me. I take him back up to his bed, and then in the morning I wake up and he's still there. <laughs> so this is the 12th, and it was my mum's birthday, so I'd made a layout dedicated to my mum. So it's just a picture of my mum and me. My mum and me. <laughs> so day 12. Oh my god, today I slept in. I thought I was refreshed and I was ready to take on the world, but I slept through my alarm clock. I didn't even hear it. Hear it at all. I woke up with a headache and a blocked nose and I rushed around the house, starting to wake the kids to realise both the kids were feeling poorly too. It must be a change in the weather. After some contemplating, I decided to let the kids stay in bed to rest up. I am so behind before my plans. Oh well, Christmas is going to happen whether I am ready for it or not. So that was day 12 and then day 13 um, was my son's Christmas party. So I got a picture of him all posing there in his shirt and tie. He loves a shirt and tie. And this will be day 13. I must have put the Christmas tree up on day 13. That is right because I put the Christmas tree up on day 13 every year the day after my mum's birthday 12 days before Christmas so here I have got just documenting Caden putting the angel on the top just how I decorated my fireplace and the Christmas tree in the dark I've been busy busy today I filmed a video from my DIY advent calendar treasure hunt game but the tree Put the tree up, made a few DIY decorations and welcomed our first little elf friend into our home. I am still so behind with my plans, but hey, at least I did something today. <laughs> so I, this, I made this wreath because my decorations were like pink and red, the same as my December daily. So I made the same decorations because I was liking these colours together at Christmas time. So I my decorations were the same colour so that I just made that wreath with some butterflies round and this isn't really a DIY it's just a lantern with some baubles in um, I've got a new phone the one I'm filming on right now on the 13th and this is just a picture of the I made like an advent calendar with loads of envelopes where the kids get to open it and they get like a clue inside where where they'll find the present so we've got like a present every day until Christmas Day and um, just little presents so this day they got like a colouring book and um, yeah I don't know and something else and the clues led them to the elf in the shelf he was hiding in the fridge and they named him um, Bobby, Bobby the Elf. So that was that. Was that. So I just took the pictures of all that. Um, day 14, today we woke up to Bobby the Elf sliding across the kitchen on a zip line. The kids were so excited. Caden found it funny that he had been in my craft supply and pinched some of my twine the cheek. Uh, Caden was like... He was like, oh, "Mom, what are you gonna do to him?" Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's been on your craft supplies. He was really concerned. So today I got my upgrade on my phone. I can't believe I had that old trusty one for a whole two years. I wasn't very adventurous, so I went from a Samsung S5 to a Samsung S7. 
but it's what I'm comfortable with and I love it. So I've just documented the phone. So this must be day 14. And then day 15. This morning we woke up to Bobby the Elf with chocolate spread all over his face. He must have got hungry. He left Caden a note asking to try and go to sleep earlier so he has time to get there and back from the North Pole. Caden slept in his bed for the first few nights but hasn't lasted long. I am hoping it's just from all the excitement of the festivities. Today I have eventually made a start on the wrapping but I have still have a lot to do. I do leave things till last minute. It's the way I work. It's the way I like to do things. Um, so there's just some pictures of the kids because I think on the advent calendar that day they got their own bauble with a light up nose. So I was just documenting some pictures from that. And then 16, I on day 16 I'd made some um, things with the paper cakes stuff. I'd made some tags so I could wrap presents with them and stuff like that. That was day 16. Uh, today was my first paper cakes design team project. Today my first paper cakes design team project got posted on the paper cakes blog. This made me super happy. This time ne this time last year I would never have thought I'd have been on a design team. So it's me just feeling proud of myself again. So that's where I got up to. And then this is what I finished. Just yesterday I did all of these pages. So they might not be as highly embellished as all these because I have just really just wanted to get it done. So yeah. So on day 16 we had a movie day. So day was another lazy day. Well, it is Sunday after all. Caden and I binge watch movies and ate lots of sweets cuddled up on the set eight till Caitlin got home. We watched Beauty and the Beast, Up, Alice in Wonderland and Jack Frost. I managed to get quite a bit of crafting done as well. Love days like this. So I just got some pictures of the movies we watched and documented that. Day 17. Today I went into town with Lee and Caden to get Caden's clothes and some more Christmas presents. We all had a lovely day. Caden was so good and loved all the lights when it started getting dark. We also walked past Fenwick's window, but the queue to see it up close was so long, so we just sneaked in peeks through the gaps. And there's just a picture of Bobby the Elf. He actually went away because Caden was not going to bed. By this time, he was refusing to go to bed, so I was having to go to bed with him, and I didn't want to set me alarm clock to get back up to put the elf in some kind of naughty position so I said that the elf had gone back home until Caden could learn to sleep by himself. It worked. Uh, once the bo uh, Bob the elf went it no longer was working. Um, so day 18 and yet another trip into town. So glad that was the last one. It was meant to be just me and Lee this time, but Lee's little brother ended up coming with us and then we bumped into my Dylan on the bus and ended up being a canny little day out. <laughs> Says me and my nephew, I bumped into him on the bus. He actually lives down south, but he's just started university in Newcastle. So, um, yeah, I get to see him a little bit more. So that's that. And day 19. Um, I've just got a picture, this is when the elf came back and he wrapped up the whole TV. <laughs> so, um, I've wrote, Caden is so glad Bobby is back and I was glad he managed to go and stay in bed last night to give me a chance to get some wrapping done. It was 4am by the time I dragged myself to bed last night. Just when I thought I could sleep, I remembered I had advent presents to hide and elf mischief to display. So it was more like 4 30 i got to sleep i am like a walking zombie at the moment but it will all be worth it soon and then bobby the elf got back is back and he came bearing gifts or oh, is he is that my tv and um, bobby i hope you don't expect me to wait till christmas day to open the pre this present so i wrapped the whole tv up on the wall 
I was running out of ideas and I'd only done it a couple of times. So here I'm just documenting some crafts that I made. I made a couple of um, handmade gifts for friends and family. So number 20, day 20. For the most part of today, I just chilled with Caden. He woke up this morning with a bit of a cold. He doesn't seem very well at all. I hope he doesn't. I hope it doesn't last through Christmas. Caitlin has just got rid of a cold as well. Let's hope it ends there. I made some handmade gifts today. I'm so loving 3D projects at the moment. They are so quick and the results are amazing. So I'm sorry if there's any glare from the lights. Um, I'm trying to keep an eye on it. But if I don't, I do apologise for any glare. So day 21, last night Bobby the Elf gave my Sandy Claws some elf magic to keep him company. The Sandy Claws is what I made for the design team, for Paper Cakes design team with the Creepy Christmas um, line. I made like a Sandy Claws chair and, um, and stuff, I'll link it in a video here. Anyway, so that, that's just documenting that sandy clothes that came. They stayed up all night playing board games and eating my advent chocolate because I hadn't been eating the chocolate out my advent calendars. So I'd actually opened them and ate them myself <laughs> and blamed it on the blamed it on Bobby and Sandy. Another chilled out day. We all took turns getting in a nice hot lovely bath and then we chilled to watch Pan and drink a Christmassy hot cocoa. Then Daddy got back, we all built some gingerbread houses that we received from... I've actually covered the journal up there with, from today's advent gift. So today, this day's advent gi gift was the um, building the gingerbread house. So I just took some photos there of our houses and I took a photograph there of our hot cocos and documenting that we watched Pan. Day 22, what, where we're at, we're 32 minutes. We woke up this morning to Bobby and Sandy having a snowball fight, using marshmallows as walls and rolled up toilet paper as snowballs. Hee <laughs> hee, the kids received the double pie face game in today's advent clue, but we didn't, end, we didn't get a chance to play as we had a busy day. We all went food shopping, and shopping to get the last bits of Christmas presents, we can do pie face tomorrow. I have been up all night wrapping presents and I still haven't finished. Can't wait till Christmas has been and I can chill and sleep and eat and do nothing. So there's just some pictures of Bobby the Elf behind his marshmallow wall. And Sandy Claus behind his marshmallow wall. And there's like a picture of them. Fight, uh, having a snowball. Also received a... Christmas card of Serena in the post so I took a picture but I've actually ended up putting it in the album I just punched a hole in here and I'm just using this clip to keep it in place because it keeps on going like that but I won't do that right now because we need to see this page so 23 this morning we woke up to Bobby the Elf and Sandy Claus riding in a shoe train he had every show out, the funny little people. After staying up all night to do some rapping, etc., I was knackered the day. I carried on with making my DIY presents for people during the day until I had a lovely little visit from my lovely friend, Diane. And this is a picture of my friend. She's, she lives in London, so I don't get to see her much, just Christmas and summer. So it's just a picture of us there. And that was a picture of the... Um, Sandy Claus and Bobby the Elf in the shoe train. Um, this day I just documented us all playing the pie face. This is a filler card, documenting some more wrapping that I did. And 24, Christmas Eve. This morning we woke up to Bobby and Sandy climbing up the Christmas tree and they had also been taking selfies on Caden's phone. Today I dyed my hair and my eyebrows getting ready for the Christmas festive season. After wrapping the last of the presents, 
and finishing some crafty things I finally got to go to bed now just have to wait for Santa to come so I just documented the pictures in the morning of the of Sandy Claus and the elf climbing up the tree and that's actually a screenshot from the photograph on the phone from Caden's phone because uh, when he looked in it and he, and he found them he was like look the dirt on my phone so I just took some pictures of Caden in his um, Christmas Eve jammies and I did have a picture of my daughter in her Christmas Eve jammies but I don't know where that went it must have got lost when I packed it away so I am going to go back and add that um, so I just took a picture of my new hair um, just I just dyed it like an auburn colour and here is some pictures of the Christmas presents so I got Caden's pile, Caitlin's pile, number 25 this is Christmas day Caden getting his new bike here just a shaker pocket here and just some pictures of Christmas morning and Merry Christmas is a picture of the kids we had such a lovely Christmas day today after watching the kids open their presents we all got dolled up to go down to Lay's Mams for our dinner dinner was perfect and it was a nice change to spend in it it was a nice change spending it with Lee's family because we usually spend it with my family um, after dinner we came back home to chill I couldn't do much of anything after filling my belly we had a lovely visit from my big sis and nephew once the kids went to bed me and Lee watched Suicide Squad and The Revident so some just some pictures from the Christmas day we all went across to the local pub and had a couple of drinks but it's kind of a man's place in the pub on Christmas day so me and the kids left and went back to Lee's man's to help cook so there's some pictures from Christmas dinner here and a Christmas a picture of me and my nephew and here's like a layout picture of me and my sister and this is the, I don't know why, oh, 26, Suicide Squad, the BFG, the Revident. I actually watched that on Christmas night, see? That's because I've did it after and I haven't read back to know that. Silly me. So anyway, um... This is a picture of my daughter and some more presents she got from family and so 26 today I worked on my second design team project from paper cakes I really did leave it till last minute but I made a New Year's banner and a table centerpiece I think it turned out cute I'll leave a link to that here if you want to watch it I just made like a New Year table piece and a banner I got my son in there um, so this day I actually woke up and it looked like it was gonna snow but it didn't it just was frosty everyone was restless after not doing much for a few days day 27 so we so we actually got ready in real clothes and went out for lunch so there's just some pictures of us um, in the restaurant took some picture of our food and that's totally the wrong way and our drinks and then 28 today I did a little bit crafting and then got myself all ready to go over to Deanne's her mum has a Christmas party every year and it's became like a little tradition for me to join them it is so lovely because I don't get to see Deanne much. Deanne's my friend in London, who I was talking about before, with her now living in London. So it's always nice to see her when she comes down. So I just documented the pictures from that night. Me and her was getting some selfies. And here I am just took a picture of my makeup. I watched a YouTube tutorial to do it. I don't know if you can see. 
I was really proud of them. <laughs> I was really proud of my eyes. So that's that. Here's some more pictures from the night. This is Jessica. Um, I told her I did YouTube videos doing crafty stuff and she fell in love with us. So uh, we were just taking selfies. 29, day 29. Today I chilled most of the day. I got to test out some of my Lush products that I got for Christmas and that's just a picture of it all soaping up in the bath. You can't really tell what it is. If I hadn't got this journal in here, you'd be like, what the hell is that? So 30 after a day, another day watching movies and eating lots of food. A little worse for wear after the party last night. I was a little bit hungover. So I just sat and watched movies all day. And I didn't actually put the day on here. I must have forgot. So this is 31, New Year's Eve. And I just put a little bit of document, uh, document in there. The very last day of 2016. Wow, what a year it's been. I've had some ups and I've had some downs. But all, all in all, 2016 has been a good year for me. Both the kids have made so much progress. And I myself has reached more goals than I'd planned to accomplish. I let the kids stay up way past their bedtime to watch the fireworks out the window and I seen the new year in with the most important people in my life. Here's to an even better year. Come get me 2017. So there's just a couple of pictures of me and the kids saying goodbye to 2016. And the album is done. Yay for me! So yes, that's it. I'm sorry if this video is long. I didn't expect it to go on this long. I might edit some out, but I might not. <laughs> and um, yeah, like I say, I still need to decorate the cover, but I think I might just leave that until this Christmas. Um, while I'm preparing, when I start preparing for this year's December daily so yeah that's done and I feel accomplished that I have actually finished it so I'm quite happy for Christmas in July so I think that's enough talking from me I'm sick of hearing my own voice so thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video bye